Good morning, everyone. It is a stellar day here in Papua New Guinea today. We are going to be loading up our Kodiak here with 970 kgs and heading out to Marawaka today um, to do some helicopter shuttles, well, at least one shuttle, and um, with a sling load, and then probably I think we get in two loads altogether. So anyways, um, we're going to spend the next probably hour packing up the plane, packing as much as we can of all those four or five carts over there and uh, then take our half hour flight out to Marawaka. We're just about loaded up now. Uh, we're just waiting on the fog right now to clear out. Um, the helicopter has to leave first. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's about only probably 100 foot thick, but probably in the next half hour by the time we get done tying everything down, fueling everything up, we'll be ready to go. Well, you can see behind me there's a couple of blue holes. I really don't want to jet out of here too early because the helicopter is going to be like a full hour because he has one more stop before he gets to Marawaka. Um, so yeah, I could get out of here just with our IFR departure. Even though it's foggy, we've still got our minimums that we have to have to get out of here. But anyways, um, so yeah, I think probably in the next 10 minutes or so, I think we'll jet out of here. Good morning, November Tango Kilo. Request taxi Marawaka to POB. November Tango Kilo, Groco Tower. Good morning, Ryan. Uh, taxi runway 17 left, enter back track lineup. QNH 1018 and time check 06. Morning, Raiden. 1018, clear to back track lineup 17 left, November Tango Kilo. All right, yeah, so we are heading out to Marawak today. I've got Stencil here with me. He's gonna be helping me with the uh, helicopter shuttles. We've got two of them, one with the sling load and then one's just an internal load as well. So 25 minute flight out to Marawaka. It looks like it's gonna be a really, really nice day. As well. And Nova Bertango Kilo be ready on lineup. Nova Bertango Kilo, Rocha, line up and wait. And uh, Brick Brick, Mike Charlie Kilo, your position. So Mike Charlie Kilo, we're maneuvering to the east, uh, passing 11, 1,700. Uh, we'll be shortly turning in down. We'll advise once we all head, uh, turning left down. In. Mike Charlie Kilo, copy here before the Kodiak to depart. Uh, on departure, we'll be at climb 9,000. Hey, sir, Mike Charlie Kilo. No, we're going to go Kilo, 1,7 left, left hand, clear for takeoff. 1-7 left, left hand turn, clip take off. No, we're going to kilo. Ignition, condition flaps, 20 fuel and harnesses. 20 degrees, so 1390, 1440. There we go. Speed is alive, got a hawk up there. He's moving out of the way. There's 50 and continuing. There's 63 and rotate. We are heavy today. We just pitch for 85 as we pop, pop through this cloud layer. It's probably only about 100, maybe 200 feet thick, probably, I'm guessing. Over 85, we'll go 10 degrees, just as we start cresting into the cloud. Well, that is majestical. Pretty majestical, eh? I don't think that's a word. Croco Tower, November Tango Kilo, departed time 10, tracking 146, and climb 900,000, estimating Marawaka 36. November Tango Kilo, copy, and contact Mosby, 120.7 HF, 622 at 15 miles. 
Point two zero decimal seven or six six two two no company kilo. Well, to have blue skies like this for as far as you can see today is actually quite the treat. Um, it has been rainy and cloudy for like the past week, so we had a system move through, so it is on its way out now, and it is absolutely beautiful. So anyways, we've got Stencil here with me today. He's one of our ground crew. Um, he helps load the airplanes, wash the airplanes, unload the planes. Today, just because I'll be doing helicopter shuttles out here, um, it's just nice to have someone else help prepare the loads and also just keep an eye on the cargo so it doesn't uh, get feet and walk off. Mars B120.7, November Tango Kilo Transfer. November Tango Kilo Mars B, go ahead. Good morning, November Tango Kilo, 15 miles to the southeast Garoka, maintaining 9,000. Smithing Marawaka time 33 and copy company traffic November Tango Hotel. November Tango Kilo, copy 9000, no insurance for the traffic. Hurricane 109. 109 or November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo and HSC 622. 6622, thanks. Right, so we just departed Garoka here. We're heading on down here to Marawaka, but we'll actually be tracking more kind of over this way because there's a Marawaka gap here, and then we'll be kind of coming in to the Marawaka area. So it's a really, really cool kind of tight approach there. Let me just bring up the strip chart real quick for you. So elevation's 5,750, and yes, a lot of you guys have asked, do you do calculations for density altitude? That's what this little thing way down here in the corner is. Um, and they do all the density altitude corrections for our takeoff and landing penalties and stuff. But yeah, you actually do feel density altitude on takeoff out of here. It's super long. I mean, 920 meters long, and it's a 3% slope. Um, even for takeoff, it's 3% slope going downhill, but I mean, that's the same as basically Garoka, so next to nothing. Very long, usually kind of long, wispy grass, but um, I'll be getting coffee out of here, hopefully. That's the plan, and we'll see if they have coffee uh, like they said they did, so we'll see. We're just 11 minutes out. I'm going to go ahead and set up everything I need to. So our pattern altitude is going to be um, 6,700 feet, but I want to be turning final at 6,100 feet. So I'm going to set up my minimums down here that you'd set up for like a instrument approach. You can also set up where you want to turn your Final. And because it's kind of close terrain, it's a tighter, it's not going to look like it on the video, but it's, it's a little bit tighter of a valley. And it's kind of a go around is really far out. Basically, right when I turn final, I have to decide if I want to go around or not. I'm going to set this up at 6,100 feet, and it'll say minimum is when I hit that. That way I don't go too low before I turn final. That low spot directly ahead of me is the Marawaka Gap, so I want to be around 8,600 feet, I think, or so, right around 8,500, 8,600 to get through that, and then we'll just head on down to the left, down into our pattern altitude of 6,700. The place that we're actually doing these helicopter shuttles are just on this side of the valley. It's a helicopter location only. They are building an airstrip there, and potentially on the way back uh, from leaving Marawaka, maybe I'll fly over it just to show you guys what it looks like and where they're actually going. But the helicopter shuttle ride, or the helicopter should be around 25 minutes there and back. So yeah, it's only probably like three or four miles, but you have to climb from basically 5,700 all the way up to 8,500, and then back to 6,000, and then right back around. All stations of Marawaka, Kodiak, November Tango, Kilo, one zero miles to the north. Left nine or thousand on descent, circuit time, Marawaka, three three. Autopilot off. Thing is, landing zero three, so hit my OBS. Turn to zero three zero. Morsby 6622, November Tango, Kilo, in the circuit, Marawaka, cancel SAR, correction, report after landing. November 
Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's kilo mile up south, watch the minute. Open break, Yeah, that works too. The reason I was considering of just not canceling it to get on the ground, just because I wanted to check the winds and see what they were going to be like before I canceled it in case for some reason I can't, but I can always just reenact it. <laughs> reenact it? No, not reenact it. 500. Re enable it. Request it again. I don't know what I'm looking for. All right, Marowaka's kind of tucked away in this little tiny valley in here. Uh, fly right over top of it, and then we'll da enter into a uh, left downwind. Really, really beautiful valley, though. I've shown you guys a waterfall down here that will go by in a second. It's pretty awesome. And let's see if they've cut the grass. Uh, it looks like it's fairly muddy kind of at the top. Doesn't look like they cut the sides, but it doesn't look like it's long. Well, we have uh, no we have one, one, two, one, two, zero, seven. But 6700 on downwind. Looking at the wind, it's got five knots, potentially a tailwind. Potentially. Yeah, see what I mean? What a view. And just say his call sign again, operating at 9,000. Head straight to those those forest trees are over there, and then we'll make a turn shortly after that. For our base. 500. There's 20 degrees. I want to turn final 6,100. Oh, well, the wind dropped down to nothing. That's good. Oh, wow, that is so awesome looking. All right, there's the waterfall off to the left. That's really awesome, too. Turning base, 183. Station, uh, Kuroko, southeast Kuroko, on 1207, Alpha, beautiful. Focus everything. 68 GPS, Kuroko is complete. Kuroko, via on board, the side of 1278 on descent. Circuit, at 50 foot high. Minimums. There we go. Minimums. 500. Bit of a headwind. Slow under 73. Seven out crosswind. And from this point on, we are committed. I've got a three knot tailwind. A five knot tailwind. Downhill. All right, well, all this soft stuff right here looks like. Might determine what we can get out of here for our coffee. We'll see. So, anyways, we're going to shut down now. Get our loads Obviously ready for the uh, helicopter. Uh, beautiful lift flight level 245 on the set. And we'll pick up once we shut down. Well, we're just unloading now. Um, the helicopter will probably get here in probably another uh, 35 minutes or so. So we're just gonna pile up 500 kgs for his first load. And then we're gonna go ahead and get all the plywood out here, put it in the net and get everything ready. And we'll probably just set it out kind of in this area right here. So really nice day. I'm actually kind of glad that I have a five knot tailwind on landing just because takeoff will just be that much easier and hopefully it will remain the same.
All right, we've got the load ready to go for the second one. And we're just now gonna load up all the coffee right here. So I've got my coffee book. We're gonna write all the weights down. Stencil's putting in the barrier net, getting the net ready. So while we're waiting on the helicopter to come back, then we'll just go ahead and load up our coffee. I think it's like 400 kgs or something like they said. So we can just fit two bags in each one of our pods. They can carry more than that weight-wise, but we just can't squeeze another one in there. So basically we have about, each bag's about 50 kgs or like 110 pounds or something like that. Anyways, um, we'll carry two up there and then we'll put up all the rest up there as well as all of these empty um, propane bottles. Well, the helicopter should be back here any second now. There's always like a million, million kids around. And uh, this place is no different. We're just now loading up. I think we came up with 626 kgs between 400 pounds of, or 400 kgs of coffee, the empty drums, fuel drums, as well as the empty propane. Still have a nice headwind for takeoff, which is great, because like I said, this airship kind of goes down a hill and then it kind of goes back up a hill. So, and we're almost at 6,000, so then city altitude actually does play, even with the Kodiak a little bit. But it still looks like a beautiful day. We'll jump over these mountains, fly by where we're dropping all this stuff off, and uh, head back to Garoka. Look out. 6622 November Tango Kilo Taxi. November Tango Kilo Mosby, go ahead. November Tango Kilo Taxi, Marawaka, Garoka, 2 POV. November Tango Kilo, no report of traffic. November Tango Kilo. All stations, Marawaka, 120.7, November Tango Kilo will be departing Marawaka for Garoka via the Marawaka Gap. We on climb 10,000. Focus set. We feel heavy. Here's airspeed alive. There's 35 continuing. Bump my torque a little bit. There's 54. There's 60. Bounce off, sort of. <laughs> my speed up. And then we'll kind of climb on out right at 740 on the ITT. Climb out at 85, got six knots ahead, which is awesome. Because we're kind of heavy, we'll just kind of slowly climb around this really cool valley and then head out towards the Marawaka Gap just behind us at like 8,600 feet. And this is absolutely one of my absolute favorite valleys. It is awesome. I think these mountains go up to, um, I think, 13,000, maybe right there, but maybe not quite that high. No, it's not that high. I think it's like 11,000. Right, now that we're out of the valley a little bit, over 85 knots, we'll go 10 degrees of flat. 
If you guys have watched any of my other videos, just for reference, uh, St. Denny's just right around the corner over here. Been there uh, for a long, almost a year now. And then Andacombe's around the next corner. Been down there a few times in the past few months. We're going to prop back to 2000, and hopefully, yeah, we can get through the gap right up there. So we'll just do a couple of orbits, get through that, and then we'll fly over actually where we were taking all of this stuff, just so you have an idea, a picture of it in your head. We'll go engine inlet to bypass, or into normal. Any light off, igniter's turned off. All right, so that's the gap right over there that I want to get through. It looks like there's uh, some clouds just on the other side of it. Um, I've got to get up to 8600, so I'm just kind of S-turn until I can just know for sure that I can pass over top. And then we'll just take a look to see if there's enough cloud, if there's too many clouds to do a flyby for where we want to go. I think it should be open though. We're going to come at this gap at a basically a 45 degree angle. I want to make sure that I'm at an altitude that I for sure can. We've got a tail behind us, so we'll probably have some updrafts right as we get a little bit closer, but we're 8,400. All right, I'll for sure cross it now because I think my lowest is 8,400. I can get through it, so. Yeah, it looks like it's nice on the other side. The clouds start right around 9,000 and go up from there, so we'll just fly down the valley. Throw bypass back on just because we're at the level of all the birds. Start bringing our torque back because we're just going to drop right back down to 6,000 feet right now. I'll leave our lights on just so they can, I'll put my landing light back on just so they can see us a little bit easier. Don't think the helicopter's still there, but he might actually be staying there and just hang out with them for a little bit. Straight ahead of me is where the helicopter it looks like it's still even sitting on the ground Traffic, with its 12 o'clock low one mile there you go he's still sitting on the ground just fly off to the side i don't think he's taken off yet at all but oh, he's not taking off 500 Here's the airstrip that they're working on. That looks like an awesome airstrip too. Really awesome. I'm looking forward to the day they get that going. All right, now we're going back on up to 10,000 if we want to, and heading on back to Garoka. If you guys are interested, I've got my sunglasses back in stock. I've had so many people um, ask me about them when I'm getting them back in stock. It took way, way longer. I apologize for that. I had to go through a couple suppliers to find one that I could work with. So anyways, yeah, they're on my site now as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. So go check that stuff out if you're interested. If you guys like the on the ground content like today, I've got a lot more of that on my Patreon page. A lot of like little like three to five minute videos of all the places I go to. So if you like this kind of stuff, a little bit different than my normal format, um, check that out. And uh, yeah, I've, I've got tons and tons of videos on there. I figured I'd go ahead and just fly over also where, uh, where Stenso lives as well, on our way down into Garoka. Garoka Tower, November, Tango, Kilo. November, Tango, Kilo, Garoka Tower, good day again. Morning again, Raiden. November, Tango, Kilo, 16 miles to the south, left 10,000. Your circuit time before 1 and we'll be flying overhead, over top of La Peloria. So, Matingo, Kilo, Roger. One way, 3-5 left. Correction, 3-5 right. Wind light and variable. A QNH 1016, track and report finals. 1016, track and report finals. 3-5 right, no, November, Tango, Kilo. Yes, I said finals. Don't ask me why. That's what they say here. Even though it's only one final, I hope. Okay, where are we? Oh, I'm way higher than I thought I was. I was looking at the wrong area. Sub down below. Looks 
Actually, I should have gone over a tiny bit more because I think his house is right below me. <laughs> yep, right there. November Tango Kilo, five miles. Five hundred. Mile, three five right. November Tango Kilo, three five right. Clear to land. Clear to land, three five right. November Tango Kilo. Just pop it back up to basically 500 feet, just so I can get back up, because we're actually where he lives is actually lower than Garoka, so you climb back up another six, seven hundred feet to get back onto a glide yeah, slope. Morning, Kilo Sierra Alpha. Because this is a three percent glide slope, and the runway is smaller than the big one, it kind of throws all of your sight pictures all off. So it, you typically come in super low here in Garoka. Every pilot does. And you have your worst landings in Garoka out of any place in PNG. At least on the small runway. The big runway is fine, but the small runway. Okay, right, we're continuing. Thanks, guys. We're back here to Garoka. That was a fun, let me tell you. It's so nice to be able to do something different than what you do every single day. So that was a real treat even for me, just to be able to go out, be a different part, be a part of a different aspect of our aviation here, and able to be a part of the slang loads and stuff. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here, but I do want to leave you guys with a note of encouragement for you pilots that are aspiring pilots or in training or haven't even started yet and you feel like it's taking absolutely forever. Believe me, I know the feeling. It took me like 14 years to get to the point where I got here. So I know about how long it takes. But anyways, I want to leave you with this just to keep pressing forward. Honestly, never give up. If this is what you want to do, you want to be a pilot, you want to be a missionary pilot, you want to just fly airlines, whatever it is, you're probably like me, you wanted to be a pilot since a kid. I really do encourage you never give up because I'm so, um, I feel so blessed to be able to do what I do. I really, really do enjoy my job and I know there's so many of you probably even watching that don't enjoy your job and I feel for you because I really I love my job and I love coming to work it's not really work so and to be able to go do something like today that was different um, different than my norm so I only had one flight today but you know that's all right so anyways thanks so much for watching and see you guys next time